today we're going to tear down a Skybell video doorbell. This is uh, the Slimline Skybell that's uh, used by a lot of providers. Like, uh, well, we use them at work. They're an alarm.com ADC type unit. These ones have custom firmware, so they only work with an alarm.com system. They can't be used standalone because of the custom firmware. Anyway, this one here, the picture went all pink. I had to go replace it, so let's tear it down before I ship it back. Here we have a broken Skybell doorbell. This is the Slimline doorbell. And what's happened with this one? This one was replaced as the picture on it has gone pink. It's like it doesn't have an infrared cut an infrared cut filter on it because most color cameras have a mechanical filter that moves out of the way so that the camera can operate in infrared mode at night and then during the day the infrared filter goes back in front of the, the pickup and it, the symptom of the picture looks just like one that would have the infrared cut filter that's either stuck or missing so this one was swapped out I have no way to test this unit because it requires an account with alarm.com these ones here are are specific sky bells that are are specifically programmed to work only with an ADC account so I have no way of testing this, but I figured, you know what, let's take it apart and see what's up with it. This was warranty replacement, so once I put it once I'm done with it, I gotta put it back together and ship it back under warranty for a replacement. Or ship it back to work, I should say. It it won't get rebuilt or anything, it'll just get recycled, but uh, it was one that that uh, failed shortly after it was installed. So under the sticker here. There's a little battery that is used to back up the camera, I'll unplug the battery, and there should be another screw I think here to open it up, maybe not, I've never taken one of these apart, so let's just see what's in this thing. Maybe just the one screw and then it should pop apart. The battery is there to power the camera up during the momentary time that it's actually ringing the mechanical doorbell, because the power would go off as it, it closes the contact to ring the bell. With one screw, there's a rubber gasket here to keep the weather out of it because these are typically sitting at you know someone's front door exposed to the weather. So there's the the back. Oh you know what I bet that's the speaker. Yeah that would be the speaker for um, two little contacts right here. This is speaker for two-way audio. That's for talking back. There's the magnet on it, so there's that out of the camera. Now let's see here what holds the rest of this in. I think it's just it just it just slips out. There, look at that. There it is. And what I'm thinking the problem with this camera is is there should be a mechanical there should be a mechanical infrared cut filter that is switched on and off. And I bet you I bet you this is it right here. And it's it's stuck in the night vision mode as you can see there's a series of infrared emitters at the top here that shine out through the top of the, the lens here um, at night this is the Wi-Fi antenna 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi antenna and I bet you what the problem with this is is that uh, this is this is jammed I wonder if we can trigger it manually by applying some voltage to the, uh, the the cut filter, unplug that. We'll release the connector. Actually, unplug. You know, if I look at this lens here, it almost looks like there's some type of a haze, like it's got moisture in it. This had been installed on a customer's house and it was on the outside, directly exposed to the weather. It wasn't, there was no overhang or anything, it was directly outside. I wonder if moisture got into it and that's why it failed. I did not do the installation myself, so I don't know, I don't know the, the, the history. And, and how it was installed. 
or when it was installed, I had it as a trouble call for the camera um, looking pink. Of course, we reset the camera and it still remained pink, so the camera itself was uh, was swapped out. But what I'm curious is, if I put a little bit of voltage onto these wires, will we see a physical shift? We should be able to see a filter move in the lens that's between the uh, the pickup and the the sensor. Well, I'm seeing uh, looks like what about 200 milliamps, 240 milliamps. I don't see anything attempting to move. There should be like a click, and this should should actually shift the filter back and forth. But I don't see the filter moving, and it should. I would think. Well, I can hear it clicking, but I don't see anything. Normally you would see the filter moving. So let's open this lens up and see. Take out the back. I think water got into this. I think that's what damaged this, is that water got into it and uh, ruined the camera itself. Since this is junk, there's no way to fix this thing, and it's already been replaced. It's warranty. I, it'll get sent back, but uh, we're going to take it right down and see if I can uh, actually open the lens up seems to be a kind of a sealed unit but this this is a solenoid here that that operates the uh, the little filter I think what's happened on this is that uh, I think it's ja or it's got that's got wet that's what's happened you can see the you can see it kind of foggy Oh, that this whole thing slides out looks like yeah this whole piece looks like it slides out this should be the filter assembly if, if it'll come out Okay, there's the CMOS sensor. That's, a, that's the camera sensor right there. Down to like a single chip. And this is the filter assembly that moves back and forth. And here's the lens. I think that uh, something uh, got on this and caused it to stick. Let's see if we can see the filter assembly move with power applied to it. Okay, there it is. The filter's in daytime mode. You can see it. Now, if I reverse the polarity, it should uh, go the other way. But we're also going to see it stick halfway at one of the little tests here. So I reverse the polarity. It should go the other way. And there it is. But you see, it's, it's kind of halfway. You can see it. It's stuck. Oh, there it is there the, the filter is actually broken if you can see it there but when I when I put voltage to it okay the filters on now you can see it you can probably see it reflecting red so that's the infrared cut filter and when the polarity is reversed that should go back the other way Now it's moving, but it was stuck there a minute ago, but it's not completely moving. You can see there's still a piece of it right there. But there it is. I think the, the filter just got stuck. Either the filter got stuck or the, the circuitry that switches it back and forth wasn't. But the, the, the symptom that the camera had was uh, it looked all red, which is how a camera would look out in, in the uh, in the daylight without an infrared filter. 
Okay, there you see it's stuck halfway. You see that? There, that's when it's supposed to be on. There's what happened. You can see what happened. The filter got stuck. So there was a lot of unfiltered light with infrared making it to the sensor, causing the picture to be red. There it is, you can see it. Can you see the reflection? That should be fully closed. At night, it does this. Right? It takes the filter out completely. And in the daytime, the filter gets put back in place. And it got stuck. Anyway, that's uh, looks like that's what happened to this one. That lens also still does look kind of foggy, doesn't it? If we look at the lens, it sure looks like there's moisture inside that lens. Anyway, time to put this uh, back together as best I can so that it can go back to be recycled because that's essentially all that's ever going to happen with this is it's going to get recycled so we'll plug it back in okay camera is back together little battery back into it here and stick the sticker on it and nobody will be wise that it ever came apart. There you go, back together. So that's the inside of one of these Skybell units and what to look for if it uh, doesn't perform, if it doesn't work properly at night or doesn't work properly in the daytime, it's a good chance that that uh, little filter has gotten stuck and it's stuck in the open position allowing the daylight which is full of infrared to uh, make it to the sensor. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.